Detroit's potholes are so bad that sometimes I wish I could just take flight and stop my wheels from shattering into a million pieces. Well, that might be a possibility in the near future if PAL-V has its way. PAL-V brought its Liberty Flying Car to the 2018 Geneva Motor Show. Now you might be inclined to call it a plane, but it's not. It's actually an auto gyro. You see, the propeller in the back is what provides the forward thrust, while the top rotor is actually unpowered. It uses the air movement around it to spin around and generate lift. Now, it's not exactly the most handsome thing on the planet. It looks like a backwards Elio Motors electric tricycle mixed with Alpha 5 from the new Power Rangers movie. Thankfully, the interior is a bit more handsome with standard leather seating for two and optional digital instrumentation. When it's in car form, the Liberty will hit 60 miles an hour in a little less than nine seconds thanks to about 100 horsepower coming from its engine, and it's expected to top out somewhere around 100 miles an hour. When it takes to the skies, the horsepower doubles and its max speed increases to 112 miles an hour. Now, for those of you keeping track at home, that's about 70 miles an hour slower than a pretty bone standard Cessna 172. Now, when it's in car form, it's expected to get around 31 mpg. Now, when it's in plane form, or not plane, but auto gyro form, it's supposed to get around 6.9 gallons per hour. Now, the sacrifices you have to make in order to get the PAL-V Liberty in your driveway, it doesn't stop at the hustle. In order to get the most out of this vehicle, you will have to earn both a pilot's and driver's license, the former of which takes a whole lot of time and a whole lot of money. Now, speaking of money, this is a rather expensive proposition, starting around $400,000 for the base version, with the special limited edition coming in closer to $600,000. Now, PAL-V claims that it will be available in both the U.S. and Europe in the near future. However, it still does have to pass final certification, which it plans on doing immediately after the show concludes. If all goes according to plan, expect European deliveries to begin around 2019. If there's two things a flying car can't do, it's like this video on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. But you, my friend, are not a plane, you are a person, and you can do that, so you should.